What is up you guys? It is Katya Books. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another supplement review. Yes, always excited for these kind of reviews. But anyways, we are trying veg, a plant protein. I mean, I just found them on Instagram and I was like, oh cool, they've got a vegan protein. So I was stoked that they even had sample sizes available to try. Cause sometimes it's sketch when you buy a tub and you're like, will this taste good? I don't know. So I'm stoked to try these guys as well. So I'm gonna try one now and another later cause they are full serving sizes. But what we've got here is chocolate peanut butter cup. Yo girl, so excited for that. And vanilla ice cream flavor. So the macros are a tad different on each of them. So I'll go over those real quick before jumping into more of the ingredients and such. But the vanilla's got 160 calories, three fat, two carb, and 25 protein. That's pretty darn good. Then we've got for the chocolate peanut butter cup, we've got four fat, four carb, 25 protein. Oh, and 180 calories. So all it says ingredient wise is some organic protein blend of pea protein, pumpkin seed protein, sunflower seed protein. So with the pumpkin seed and the pea protein, I believe that should give you a full amino profile. They use stevia to sweeten it. So yeah, this seems like an all around good post workout kind of protein powder. No greens blend, any of that sort. So yeah, I'm ready to give it a try. And I'm sure you guys are ready for me to tell you what I think about it and how it tastes. So I'm gonna start with the vanilla, I think. And then later on today, post-workout, I'm gonna have the chocolate peanut butter cup. And then we'll give I'll give my overall consensus. So usually I use this jar to do half a serving, so I wasn't sure how well it would mix, but it looked like it mixed pretty well with, with just water and without a shaker cup. I mean, there's just a little bit of clumping, but that's kind of normal. So ready to give this a, a try. All right. Ooh, smells nice and vanilla-y. Hmm. Okay. That's fair. Hmm. I can kind of taste like the protein base, but it has like a nice vanilla extract kind of taste to it. So it's not bakey, but it's not super subtle. If you know what I'm talking about when it comes to like vanilla extract, if you like dip your finger in it, you'll have like almost a slight aftertaste of the alcohol that goes into making vanilla extract versus like a vanilla paste. And I'm kind of getting almost that aftertaste of like that alcohol part that's in vanilla extract. So it's odd, but this is just with water. So if I were to make like an ice cream, add it with some almond milk, put it in oatmeal, this I'm sure would just taste perfect. Oh my gosh. Mm. It's a solid vanilla. I think I would give this like a 7.5, 8 out of 10, like flavor wise, they did a really good job. And I mean, for the water amount that I put in here, I like the viscosity that is kind of milk shaky almost. I mean, I'm sure if I put more water, it would be way more watered out, but that was a perfect amount of water for this because it gives it a nice viscosity to it. So you feel well satiated when you're consuming it. Hmm. Mm. This is great. I like it. Okay. So I'm gonna clean this up, but then I will catch you guys post-workout to try the peanut butter cup. All right, so it is later in the day and I nearly forgot that today's actually an off day from the gym. So we're gonna try the other protein powder just more so as another meal of the day. So I'm, oh man, you just my excitement right now for chocolate peanut butter cup. You know your girl loves her chocolate peanut butter. So I'm gonna quickly mix this up with some plain water in glass and then we'll try it out. All right, so this time it did clump up a little bit and I tried using a spoon to get it, but it might also be due to the fact that this jar is kind of small, so it may not be enough water for the protein powder amount, but it's all about the taste. So let's see how it tastes. Mm, I can smell that hint of like peanut butter and chocolatiness. Mm. 
Yeah, definitely not enough water for how much is in here. So now that I took a sip, I'm gonna add a little more water. All right, that looks a lot better. So, even though I did take that sip before, it's weird. So, it really smelt like the chocolate peanut butter, but there's like almost no taste, which is so sad because I was so excited. Hmm. Yeah. It's not bad tasting, but it's just that there's not a taste. I just taste this like very light sweetness, like a very slight chocolate flavored sweet thing. I don't know, you know? Mmm. Like it tastes good, but is it screaming chocolate peanut butter cup? Not really. Like if you want a chocolate peanut butter cup, go with the live body chocolate peanut butter cup because you can taste the chocolate. And the pita butter, I just like the perfect ratio. Where's this? I'm not tasting it. And I'm kind of sad. It tastes good, but it just, there's not too much of the flavor. So I'll give it like a six out of 10 due to the fact that it doesn't taste like really chocolate peanut butter cup. Like this would hide so easily if you were to toss it into a smoothie. So it's kind of like, what's the point then of the flavor? But it's not bad. So that's the only caveat about it. So I'm gonna finish this up and then we're gonna wrap up this review. All right guys, so wrapping up this review of the veg plant proteins, my overall thoughts, recommendations, I enjoyed it. Now I enjoyed the vanilla more than the chocolate peanut butter cup, but like I, I can't hate on it because it still kind of tasted good even though there wasn't enough chocolate peanut butter taste. Like it wasn't as though I was only tasting the flavor of protein, whereas I think I noted in the vanilla where you can kind of taste the protein but the vanilla tasted more like vanilla extract than I did like a vanilla bean. So they're fair protein powders. Would I buy like a full tub of them? Possibly not, just because, I mean, it doesn't offer crazy much to it, you know? It, you don't get your fruits and veg blend like Live Body does. The vanilla is good, it's not bad, but I mean, it's got great macros, I mean, Give them a try if you'd like them. Possibly opt out for this flavor just because it's really, really mild. So if you're someone who loves to put it in your morning oats or something or make something with it, it's gonna be so, so mild that you'll have to add like extra cocoa powder or something to flavor, make the bring the flavors out a bit more. So I kind of semi recommend i don't i don't fully recommend it no so i'm gonna have to just give it a no honestly uh, i hate giving a no because it kind of it still tasted good but if you really want to get a beneficial protein that's going to give you a fruit and vegetable and taste freaking good check out the ones in the link in the description box below with the coupon codes because those are ones i take on the daily because i trust them and i love them so yes, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. I mean, I enjoyed the protein regardless. Happy to have tried it, even though I won't buy it again. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a nice big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. That subscribe button is red. Click it because that means you haven't subscribed. Join the family. Join me. And I'll catch you guys for the next video, which we are celebrating my birthday, meaning epic cheat day meaning lots of good vegan food so stay tuned for that bye